Well, let's see. Oh, hello. hi, hi uh, Seven. Um, okay, so I'm I'm simulcasting with three different sources. On um, here is uh, Instagram. Hi, Instagram. Hi, guys. <coughs> hi, Instagram. How are you? And then here is YouTube. This is YouTube. Hi, YouTube. And this is Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Well, hi, guys. Hello tonight. I wanted to work on. Um, these drawings I'm working on I wanted to work on these uh, my castle drawings a little bit here you can see I have a but I wanted I have to write the name of the castles in here so this is one of the drawings we did for um, our hour pencil power and now this is our this is our last week of the hour of pencil power this is our last week. No sound, huh? Oh, here. How's that? How's that? I, I, had, I had it muted. Oops. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Hi, Nichelle. That should be better now. I just unmuted it. <clears throat> so I want to draw the Bodium. This is the Bodium Castle. But I had a bunch of notes about it. And where is those? Where? I had the, the year of it. What did I do with my castle notes? We're gonna draw some uh, elephants here too, okay? I wonder what I did. I had some, a lot of really good notes about the castle, about what year it was. And... Well, I know this is the Bodium Castle. I just don't know what year. I'm going to have to look it up. So I'm going to put the name there. I'll put the name of this castle here. I know that. I still don't know the name of this one. This this castle. This is the Bodium. I know that. But I don't know what. I, I This was in the 14th century. And this castle up here at the top was in the. Uh, this was in the uh, 11. Like 1122 A.D. And this was like 14th century, something like that. Um, this, this, I just wanted to draw castles. We had a lot of uh, you folks that were requesting the castle drawing. So I wanted to draw the castles here. And I'm just adding the detail in. I gotta, gotta make myself a little wrist guard. So this was, the, we have, uh, we have one more day of Hour of Pencil Power. Today we did the elephants. I want to finish that today. And Mario did a Mario's Mints. So I'm going to finish that one up today. Let me take, take this one. That'll be next up. Now our uh, our Saturday NASA adventure. This one, the Saturday, uh, because of the delay, the weather, the weather scrub of the launch of the SpaceX rocket. So exciting. The Scrub to Saturday, our TV show, uh, is pushed back to the next Saturday. For some reason, for some reason, uh, uh, the, the NASA's rocket to the space station uh, is more important than our really cool NASA drawing webisodes. I'm so excited to watch the launch on Saturday at 3.30 Eastern Time. Uh, here was episode one. I hope you guys remember this. Wasn't that fun? That was episode one. Ooh, that's our collaboration with NASA Artemis team and uh, NASA artist Jack Moore, NASA educator Patricia Moore, and uh, NASA engineer, uh, this fella right here. Uh, oh, I had all their names listed. They're just so cool. They, they come on and they tell us all the specs of the... Here's was episode two where we drew the <coughs> draw Artemis where we had this. I'm going to go to Saturn. I would hope to go to Saturn with that. And then here, uh, we're, this was our third episode of the full steam ahead. So this one, I want to put the. This is full steam. It's an acronym for science, technology, engineering, art. <laughs> I put the wrong. I put the dot in the wrong spot. Oops, art. And math. Full steam ahead. It's pretty funny. I put the dot under the A. Oops. All right. So now tomorrow's our last hour of pencil power because I am going into uh, my summer art camps. You guys, it's all going to be Zoom based. 
I hope you guys register for my summer art camp. It's for the whole family. You can, when you sign up, you can uh, come to one class or you can uh, come to uh, all uh, four classes, uh, one hour, or you can come to four hours of it. It's going to be really, really cool. Hope you sign up for us. Summer art camp, register today. There's my, my website here. All right, I'll keep that up there. It's called the Zo our Zoom Summer Art Camp. So, in fact, over here, I'm going to go ahead and work. I'm going to work a little bit. Let's take, take a look at Instagram for comments. Look at all these cool people on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Hello, hello, hello. Just waving to you guys. Hi, guys. Look at this. Hello, Instagram people. Hey, I have KMCK Arts. Kemka Arts is my childhood hero from PBS. You must re uh, remember the Secret City with Commander Mark or the Imagination Station. Uh, now, the Imagination Station is on Amazon Prime, so be sure you take a look at that, okay? Be sure you take a look at that. So once again, our hour of pencil power, we've done over 60 days of uh, every day, an hour live free for the world. It was our response to the uh, COVID creativity. And we did, uh, this was just one hour. See this, this was one hour. This was today, this was uh, uh, Wednesday. This is today. We did the these three elephants. And then Mario worked on his, uh, and I'm gonna finish those up. This was an example of another hour. And I spent another two hours on the backgrounds, but really fun, taking off with your imagination. Now, would anybody, would anybody watching like a free PDF? Who wants who wants who wants to get a free PDF? It's uh, three or four pages long. It's eight and a half by eleven, and it's every single day of our sixty plus days. It's basically the index for this book. I'm writing a book. It'll be a hundred pages long. And if you want to see a sneak pre preview of this book called "The Hour of Pencil Power: Surviving COVID nineteen Quarantine with Creativity." If you would like that, here's how you get it. I'm going to send out, I'm going to send everybody that's watching tonight uh, a PDF. Well, thank you, John. John says he's going to miss those uh, uh, hour of pencil powers. And, uh, well, hey, John, um, consider signing up. I'm still going to be around. I'm just going to be on our uh, family pencil power. It's really, it's usually like $300 a student. Now it's $99 for the entire family. So if you enjoyed the Hour of Pencil Power, please do go to my website and click the week you want. I have all these different weeks. I'm going to do uh, week one will be, and that's coming up next week. I'm going to be drawing at this this time at night for India students. Week two is a time zone for Eastern United States. Week three is Central. Week four is Central Time USA. Week five is Eastern Time for Eastern uh, uh, week six is Eastern Europe for Dubai, Ukraine, Russia, uh, Eastern Europe. Week seven is our full day fine arts camp from nine o'clock to four o'clock every day. Week eight, now week seven, this full day visual arts camp, that's $299 per family, and it's so awesome. Week nine is British summertime uh, zone for Germany, Rome, Vienna, England, uh, Ireland. <clears throat> it's going to be awesome. And week 10 is Australia. So I really hope you guys sign up for that. It's going to be really cool. Now, if you would like to get a free PDF. Now, this is the book. This book, I'll show you how to buy the book later. Pre -buy. Excuse me. But if you want to get a free PDF, you need to send me an email. And in, in the subject line, you have to write, please, 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 three pleases, please, 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 uh, send me the free PDF. Okay. And send me an email to please, please, please. Got to put that in the subject line or I won't, I won't get it. And now if you're watching the recording, that's fine. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, honor this for anybody that watches this recording. So send it to Mark at Mark .com, an email. And in the subject line, right, please, please, please send me the PDF and I will send you a, a PDF. Well, Amanda will. Thank you, Amanda. The, the, see what I did is I took, we took, Amanda did, she took each of the days, look at this, each of the days and put them into a really cool <coughs> reference PDF. It's just all these days, okay? And I'm going to read some more uh, comments here. Uh, John, now if you haven't 
If you haven't received it yet, we're reworking it. So we're going to send them out on Monday. So we have about 30 people that are waiting. Thank you for your patience on that. Uh, Mark, your man. Jeremy, Mark, you're the man. Well, thank you, Jeremy. Mark, you're the man. <clears throat> now, John says, my father, Gabe's granddad, uh, passed away here. Oh, well, the, 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 the drawing helped you process uh, your grandfather's passing. Well, I celebrate your grandfather's life with you guys. I celebrate the legacy he leaves with you uh, and your kids. And um, I am so glad you were able to use drawing as a way to process that and to celebrate and to do your, it's so important uh, processing those the, uh, you know, your family loss. It's such an important time in your life. Um, I lost my mother um, over a better, over, uh, it was two, almost two years ago or two years ago. It's just, I miss her every day. Um, but I was there. I was there when she, when she passed, it was just, it was such a privilege and an honor. She was surrounded by uh, all of us family. We, and my sister, uh, Melissa was holding her hand and, um, it was just, it was really, really important. It was special. It was incredibly difficult, but it was really an important moment for all of us. I'm so glad we were able to, to do that. So um, th um, thank you for making me part of your, your process there. That's really, uh, really touching. All right. Um, I'm going to draw a little bit here. Uh, I want to work on, I'm going to work on these arches here. We're going to drift up. With our pencil power, I'm just curious to see who's on with us here. Oh, look, we have we have a handful. Uh, oh, I'm gonna check on this. Uh, I'm gonna check on the the comments. I haven't done any drawing yet. Uh, yes, Nichelle, I'm sending the PDF after the last hour pencil power on Friday. Um, well, we're gonna. You know what? That's a that's probably a good point. I'll probably wait to add. You know what? Here, I should be saying, yeah, oh, yeah, we were waiting to finish this last, this one, and the elephants. I'm not sure what I'm going to draw for tomorrow, so I haven't figured it out yet. This elephant one's going to be cute. It's going to be really cool as soon as I finish it. <clears throat> All right. If you want a free PDF of the Our Pencil Power book, it's not the book. It's the index. It's three pages. The front of the book is the table of contents. Send me an email and ask for the... Please, 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 in the subject line, send me the Hour of Pencil Power PDF. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta draw, man. Squirrel, I gotta, I'm gonna work on this. I gotta just get this roadway. I want to get this cr cr craggly roadway, and it's a, uh, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a dirt rocky road. So rocky road ice cream. So I want to just darken in the. The uh, you know it's kind of lumpy and bumpy. See, I'm going to be pushing it here, and um, this is going to be cool. Now I have this wrist guard, so if it, if I want to get more detail, like I want to get this this uh, going back. Because see, I I don't want a congruent line. See what I did? So I want to move. I want to move this this behind the pencil just a little bit. I don't want this to confuse with the tip. So I'm going to draw this kind of archway here. I know that that's going to go in. I'm going to draw this other. I said I don't want a congruent line, so I separate that just a little bit. And I'm going to put that thickness coming down. And I'll leave that. And I'm going to put the thickness over here. Now, whenever I think it's, it's too tedious to get all this detail in, I think about those videos uh, on Facebook. I just love them. I don't know who sent them to me first, but of, of that, uh, the, the uh, there's different uh, fellows who do this. They're down on the Amazon, and they have a stick and a blade on the end of the stick, and they have a ceramic pot that they carry water in, and they dig they were over a time lapse. They dig out these incredible underground uh, swimming pool chapel. Uh, you know, meditation, archway, candle rooms and stuff. Have, have any of you guys seen that? Now, I have a fly. What do I have there? Hello, little fella. You're not, you're not someone who I would like to see on my... Let's put you over there. Let's let the cats have fun. It wasn't that nice. How's that? We had a little visitor today. We, we'll call him Ollie. Ollie the bug. 
Uh, Gabe, made a costless for you all. Okay. Uh, no, Landon, I see you. I didn't block you. Uh, oh, look at John. He's on it. John's like my room monitor. He's my bouncer. We, Landon, we love you, man. Just hang out and draw. This is cool. <clears throat> We're not going to block you. you. You're being mellow. So You guys are so cool. All right. A plus plus plus. You guys get an A plus plus. Look at this. I was supposed to be drawing and I get so distracted because you guys are so awesome. I want to put another archway. I want to put just a little peekaboo archway back here. Now, I want to darken in the roadway. I'm going to darken this in. Kind of lumpy. I'm going to add some shading. Definitely, I always put it darker right under the edge for sure. And uh, definitely, I'll shade. Now, this is all going to be dark around here, but I'll shade shade the, the cliff. And this is going to be different layers. I'll use layer upon layer. And then I'll, I usually blend it. So I'll put a tone. And then I'll take my pencil and I'll, or my stompy and I'll blend it here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're drawing little castles. I'm going to focus my YouTube camera, see if that can focus any better for you guys. And this is definitely going to be darker underneath here. I think it gets a little bit lighter, but it's definitely darker halfway through. And it's just, so again, I was talking about those guys digging out those, those underwater, there's underground on the dirt. They use a stick with a blade at the end of it, and they just hatch and sculpt these incredible underwater pools and have you, have you guys, any of you seen that before? Excuse me. Thank you. This is good to have you guys on Instagram with me. Hello, Instagram people. Look at all these guys here. Great to see you. Well, I, keep, I don't know how to work it very well, but I'm trying. Um, hey, Fatima, how are you? Good to see you. Hello, Raleigh, North Carolina on uh, YouTube. And let's see, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this. This was today's drawing. If you want to see this actual lesson, this is posted on Facebook and YouTube. It's called The Hour of Pencil Power. We've done uh, Fatima or um, uh, Steve. Do you remember the drawing? Uh, 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 how many have we drawn of these Hour of Pencil Powers? Anybody, anybody actually know? Now, this is going to be tricky because I want to keep this separate. But I know it's going to be dark up underneath here. See, I want to keep keep this. This is going to be. It's interesting. Try not to to make it too muddy. See, I, I want to make sure all the different surfaces stand apart from each other. So it's a tough one because I know I need to get this darker, and then this is darker, and then right up here, this will be darker, but it'll get a little. Lighter, so you just got to be careful. Do it layer upon layer, layer, just like those guys with the blade and a stick. Just shape and mold slowly. Now I know this would be a lot faster using a micron pen. I know it, but I kind of I just like the graphite. I'm going through a, I've been going through a, a graphite fascination with pencils, tones, and values. A graphite fascination with pencil graphite for. 40 years now. I do. I've used airbrush and watercolor and acrylic, and I always come back just to the pencil. It's, it's, it's my it's my happy place, right? It's my fun. All right, I'm going to jump. I jump around a lot, so I'm going to... Uh, this is my live... This is my live Zoom base. I'm going to use Zoom. I'm loving Zoom. I just... Boy, did they, did they figure out a great platform for the world good for them for being so successful with it and i'm going to darken this in. so i'm going to do a live zoom based now obviously i'm going to have to become an expert at it because i'm going to have summer camps with it and i'm going to i'm just now ready to get the professional version i've been using the free version but i'm going to get that professional version it's going to be awesome 
it's gonna be really cool. I gotta and I gotta give myself a, a learn how to do it right. You know how to uh, you know highlight, mute different people, mute microphones and stuff. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Uh, well, Andrew, thank you from YouTube. Uh, Nishil says, Mark, Zoom is awesome. Ordered a year. It's like Star Trek. Yeah. You guys, have any, has anybody seen um, has anybody seen Orville? Oh my gosh. I'm so I am so into that show. I love it. Well, I'm a big Trekkie and Star Wars fan. Um, I actually like Star Trek. Uh, uh, well, it's hard to say I like Star Trek more than, more than Star Wars. Is its own le legacy all on its own. Excuse me. Hey, Mario. I was trying to see my son. He he got some dirt in his eye, and I had to flush it out. I'm wondering how he's how his eyes feeling. Here, I'm I'm gonna go check on his eye. All right, his eye is good. Boy, he only has, he has one eye because he grew up with glaucoma. And so he, he, he doesn't have vision in his left eye. So we have to be so careful. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, he, well, he was, uh, he had his safety goggles on and he was using his blower. And he was, you know, he's just Mr. Yardman. You know, he's, He's 18 years old and he has like thousands of dollars of yard equipment out in the garage that he, you guys have helped fund him. Thank you for pitching in to his GoFundMe page. You generous, generous people have donated over $5,000 to Mario's equipment and trailer fund. He's trying to get a yard trailer, but he was out today. Uh, he's just going bonkers being stuck here. He used to go to a lot of people's homes and and I've kept him... Uh, Kept him pretty close to the home property here uh, during this COVID. I just just uh, had to make sure that uh, I just need to make sure I, I see exactly you know he's able to maintain that social distancing. And uh, so, but he's been doing such a good job with our yard. We have big forest. We've been cutting trails through the yard, and he uh, tonight he was blowing and. He went full power into uh, blowing into the corner of our doorway, and I've in, in over the years, I've never seen him do that. I think he was in a hurry, and he, he knows how to. He needs to go toward a corner, very low power. And then you get your, then you go into the corner, and you turn around, and you put your back into it. Then you blow high power out of the corner, but all the dirt flew up, and apparently some kind of side. But we've been flushing it all evening, and it's he's all good. I'm so relieved. That just, just, you know, with one eye, we have to be so careful. So careful. All right. I can't believe he could do it. Doctors said when he was, when he was a baby, they said that, you know, he would never be able to ride a bike or run or go downstairs or, you know, drive. And I, I'm here to tell you, boy, he could drive a, a lawnmower, a riding lawnmower like no other, you know, zero turn. He can... He can drive intricate patterns on giant, you know, giant multi-acre yards. I've seen him do it up in Portland, Oregon, and uh, he could he could uh, be texting while he's going downstairs, uh, running downstairs. You know, they said he would never go downstairs. So here is this. It just now try you try an experiment if you want to try, for people who only have one eye who have mono vision. Try at empathy to put a uh, try to put put a, um, uh, a a bandana around your head. It would block one eye. Try to block one eye and then go thirty minutes with one eye blocked, and you're in for a, a, a very challenging half an hour. I, we did that with our family many many years ago to try to so Selena and. 
Anthony and uh, I and my ex-wife would get a um, a feel, get a get a, a feel of what it's like for Mario, and it was you know it was we, we we made a game of it, but it was a learning game to understand the challenges he was going through, and it was a it was an important thing for all of us to understand what how he and he's been able to adapt and grow, and you know pretty impressive he's my hero he's my little well he's giant now he's used to be my little hero used to when he was like one and two years old he used to ride around on my shoulder like a little little tiny tim right he was tiny and now he's bigger than i am 200 well he's not uh i i weigh more than him i'm like 250 yeah i lost 55 pounds of course it took me 10 years but i'm down and I'm still, I've got 50 more pounds to go, but Morrow's, I think, 220 pounds, like a, a linebacker, and he's he's taller than I am, and uh, he's awesome. Let's see. Uh, let me, I'm reading some, some, some comments here. I created a drawing that I sent in. Uh, whenever, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad that you, you created a drawing. That's so cool. I'm looking at these comments. Very cool. Hey, Robert. Robert Newstead. I was hoping you'd come on, Robert. Are you in New Orleans with your sons? Robert Newstead, my co-creator of the Imagination Station. Robert, did you see that post that Doug did? Our director, Doug, and Robert Newstead are going to be guests on our next episode of the uh, the this of, of our uh, NASA director, Doug, and executive producer, Robert. And the point is that we're next time we do it, we're supposed to be this Saturday, but it's supposed to be on the Saturday the 6th. Robert, this series is on Amazon Prime. You can watch it. Uh, Robert Newstead and <clears throat> excuse me, Robert Newstead is going to be guest on the show. Sorry. And Doug DeVore is going to be guest on the show along with um, with Tim Decker. He was a guest on 10 episodes of Imagination Station. So it's kind of like a, a reunion. For Imagination Station crew, along with the uh, NASA technicians for the launch the tower, we're drawing the launch tower on this episode, along with our uh, uh, our NASA artist Jack Moore, our director and our technical director uh, Patricia Moore, NASA um, educator, amazing, amazing uh, husband wife team. Just what it's absolute honor to be working with them. Goodness gracious. And uh, so Doug made this post today on Facebook, and I posted it. You guys, check it out. I, I put it up on, uh, I put it up on Facebook, and it's really look at this is interesting in here. It's good luck in trying to figure out how that works in real life. So I'm going to make this darker back here, and then really, it's really dark. This one's really dark. think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this all really dark in there. So I'm gonna make this really dark back here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm just working the shadows. You guys can see it. I'm just working it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put more arches here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna put a big arch here. And then just a funky just all wiggly just to make it cool and then put thickness here on this one and then thickness coming down on that one look at i'm just having some fun on this so we'll darken these in um so doug made a posting of uh, the opening of the Imagination Station show from 2000, or yeah, 1, 1999. 1999, he made a posting of it. And it was, it's so cool because you can hear him. Uh, you can hear Doug with his commands. Uh, take, take to hold camera two, clear six, take Rodali in camera one, uh, do this, do that. I, I, I had no idea. All these years, I had no idea what was how to direct a show. Okay, Landon, I'm blocking you, buddy. Landon is being blocked. I'm going to figure this out. Landon, you are being blocked. 
Landon, I don't believe that you're a child. I believe that you're an imposter. So I'm going to uh, hide user. And I hid you. And we hid your messages. So Landon, uh, you're, you're, you are no longer welcome in my room. I don't believe that you are a child. I think that uh, you are an imposter. So I, uh, I blocked you and I figured out how to do it. That is great. Uh, I guess I got to go through it. I want to see. I need to pay more attention. Hi, Mario. Is your iPhone okay? Yeah. You want to draw? You okay, buddy? Yeah. I'm so glad I was so worried about your eye, dude. That freaks me out. I'm so glad you're going to come hang out with me. I'm just drawing. Look at Mario. I'm just drawing uh, arches for my castle. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I've been going for 31 minutes here. Uh, directing or calling the show. Oh, my gosh. Mario showed me some awesome writing. Uh, there, it's like writing uh, the, the Auto mops, scrubbers. right? Auto scrubbers. Auto. Auto scrubbers. Auto scrubbers for floors. Those giant ones that the professional use. That's awesome, Mario. I, I, I have used one before. You have used one before? Yeah, at, at, at my old fish before. I have used You know what I want you to do, more. I want to see, someday, sooner or later, I want to see you driving a Zamboni. Mara, you have been uh, obsessed with Zamboni since you were a little baby, and I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to facilitate that dream for you, Mario. I want to get that someday, Mario. Sooner rather than later, we're going to get you to drive a Zamboni around an ice rink. Does that sound awesome? Yeah. So. I'm just having some fun here on my drawing. Um, uh, so let's. Oh, I'm going to go back to the comments on YouTube. I'm proud of myself for figuring out how to how to block somebody. Isn't that funny? I got it. I figured it out. Uh, yeah, I'm so proud of myself for understanding. So now I don't have to be really afraid of putting text up there. That's cool. Uh well. Uh hey, Fa Mario Fatimus says hi and and like us says hi. Do a commercial, okay? Here's Mario. Mario, they want me to do a commercial. Here's a commercial for Mario's Green Monster Lawn Care and House Clean Service. He volunteers and helps uh, folks um, who can't afford to get in yard work or housework. The way he sponsors it is he has his own GoFundMe page. You can read his story. At Mighty Mario's GoFundMe page. Go Mario. Here you go. Go Mario. Mario, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna end. I did a commercial for you, buddy. And then watch, ready? Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do your vacuum. Here it goes. Here goes Mario's vacuum puppet right here. We're gonna vacuum up our castles. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That was. It was awesome. Oh, here. Here's what Mario did today. He drew this one. His Mario's Minutes. He drew uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vacuums. Nine. Nine vacuums. We did elephants today. I'll be finishing that. Oh, today at the house. Oh, today at the house? You tell them. They can... I cleaned the whole house. I vacuumed. He he just he doesn't have to he didn't have to do the elliptical tonight because he did so good. Usually, you know, we try to get our exercise in every day on the elliptical. He 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 was so busy on the he was so busy today doing all this clean upstairs and downstairs that I looked at him. He was like just a sweaty, working, awesome cleaner guy. And I said, Mario, you don't need to do your elliptical. That was your workout. Uh, Mario, they're asking questions. The ones you drew today was it were, were they battery powered? No, they were no, they were they recorded. And they're telling the commercial. 
and they're commercial grade so that they can do a lot of hard work. Right, Mario? Yeah. So I'm just shading here, shading the details. And um, I'm going to shade the whole edge here. Mario, I'm having so much fun drawing. I'm glad you came in to hang out with us. Usually I start over here and I work my way across, but I, I couldn't help it. I love drawing arches and doors and stuff. So again, I have a live Zoom virtual camp. Um, the way you sign up for it is you, you go to markkistler.com. I'm going to try to fit it in here. markkistler.com. So let me write that here. And I know I, I should use Micron Pen and then go back, but I just I just love the the graphite, the pure graphite, the the pencil values. My hand gets tired because I got to push so hard on the lead, but I think it turns out pretty good. Markkistler.com. So there's our ad for our summer camp for i hope you guys go to that and check it out i have so many weeks of this summer camp ready to go i'm going to clean my glasses i can't see what i'm doing so um i'll, I'll try to uh, answer your questions if anybody has any questions about the different weeks i have different time zones i have a time zone in for australia a whole week i have a time zone for eastern europe for a whole week i have a time zone for united states eastern time zone for a week I have several central time zone weeks. Just go on to my website and you can look at all the different time zones. We have uh, uh, Eastern Europe. We have Western Europe time zone. I'm going to do one for Australia. Um, India. The India's one starts Monday. If you, anybody in India wants to draw with me. Uh, I have an Ind for India, for the country of India, New Delhi and Mumbai and all the cities all over the country. I've got a wonderful... Summer art camp, and it starts at nine o'clock in your in the India time zone in the morning for the uh, six, seven, and eight year olds, and then uh, nine and up, nine through sixteen years old. They draw from ten fifteen to eleven fifteen, and then again the older, more advanced kids then draw from eleven thirty to twelve thirty. And then the United States, uh, we're adding another one in the evening, six thirty to seven thirty at night, for. Uh, a parent's family, a family art attack, a family art time. It's going to be so wonderful. Now, Andrew's saying, uh, Andrew, I, it's very difficult for me to accept artwork through the mail. Uh, it just takes me forever to to act, to retrieve it during this COVID time. My PO box, I just, I just, I'm just not even going there right now. So the best thing to do is take a picture of it and post it on my Facebook page to, uh, um. Uh, now, eventually, I want to figure out the whole pound, like pound, draw Artemis, um, uh, like pound Mark Kistler. I think somebody has got some something like that going or hashtag. I'm sorry, hashtag Mark Kistler. Um, I should I should figure that out. Um, you want to try it? Want to want to email me a note and then say at uh, best you can email it to me. But it's uh, the best thing is to post to Facebook. Post it to Facebook and then do your own post to Instagram. Now, hey, if you guys aren't following on Instagram, would you guys do that for me? It would be great. I would love you guys to to um, follow me on Instagram. There's Instagram right there. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch my show on Amazon Prime. And please, you guys should sign up for my Draw 3D. This is a, a bonus on top of the summer camp got this amazing 500 lesson program here's a 75 percent off coupon code look at that 75 percent off kistler 75 off or you can just take 50 off if you want if you can afford it appreciate it there's my coupon code at draw3d.com check it out it's awesome 500 lessons hundreds of hours of me drawing so check it out all right so i want to work on these I'm going to work on these. I can't really get that close right now. I got to get really close and I'll block the camera. So I'll go ahead and work on. I'll work on this inside here. Make this. This is going to be darker. 
this is going to be kind of dark back here. But see, I don't want to make it too dark. I want I don't want it to us to think it's the background because it's not. So I got to get it a little bit lighter here. See, I don't want it to, to confuse with the background. Right now, it's too dark. I got to lighten it up a little bit. Oh, light it up! No, oh, look at all these people. Instagram. It's so great to have you guys drawing with me, and you guys drawing with me up there. Uh, Nichelle, see you tomorrow. Thanks for drawing. Thank you, Karen Peters, for drawing for hanging out with me. I'm just chilling and drawing. Thank you so much for coming in and just spending some time with us. With Mario and I. Mario's over there. He has his headset on. And he's uh he's a happy camper. His eyes all flushed out. He doesn't have I'm just uh, I was so worried about him. I was stressed. Mother hen here. So I'm gonna put a little shadow. Look, I put a little simple table action over here, right? Getting this all. Now, anybody going to watch the launch Saturday? Are you guys going to watch the sat Saturday? You go to NASA.gov and watch it live just right from NASA. It's so cool. And they have commentaries. They have folks that are talking about it. Uh, engineers and uh, technicians. It's really cool. All right, so we're making progress with this guy. Um, I think I like I like everything that's happened here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Stompy, if I can find it. Where's my Stompy? Where's my Stompy? There's my Stompy. I'm going to add a little more. I want to add a little more tone to the castle here just a little bit more i kind of want to darken in this edge here see just little just little nuances i can see it from my driveway robert please 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 what is that robert you're freaking out on me please 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 oh you mean for the getting the, the pdf you have to put it in the subject line please 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 uh the sun castle is my favorite you guys like that sun castle this was the, uh, this was uh, built in like 1122 AD, and the name of this castle is, where's the name of the castle? I had it all, here it is. The name of this, that castle, well, his, we didn't have time for this, the new Schweinstein castle. I printed these up. That That's in Austria, and I loved it. I visited that one. Um, here it is. This castle, this is my sketch. See, this castle was the Alcazar de Zezuya from Spain. I just, sorry about the name. I just really uh, didn't do it well. It's a medieval castle, 1120. Now, this castle over here, here's my scribble, and there's the finished drawing. But this castle is, it was the Bodium Castle's 14th century East Sussex, England. And this one is an American castle that I'm drawing down below, and I have no idea if anybody recognizes that. So this is the. I'm gonna to have to put the, the 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 date and title of that one, huh? Uh, that I'll, I'll write that. I'm gonna probably put a little uh, erase a little box here, and then on here I'll probably put it down here in the lake with the reflection. All right, so we're working on the hour of pencil power. I think I'll just leave that clock. I don't know. That clock's a tough one. Should I, should I, I think I'll put a circle and I'll gray in the background. I think I'll do that. I think I'll put a circle. And then I think, I think I'll just go ahead and draw the gray back here. I seem to, this it's just kind of a pattern I've got. So I just do a little bit at a time, take, take the time, just like those guys who are chiseling out those underground cathedral-like underground swimming pools with the stick and a blade. Do you have, have you seen those? Have you seen those on the on the uh, Facebook, those those uh, videos?
Uh, that's old John. It says it's Bold Castle Bay, New York. Really? Really? I should write that down. Bold Castle Bay. Oh, this one? This one right here? This one is uh, Bold Castle Bay. Let me write that down. Really? Well, thank you for your information. Look at you. Write it there and you see it here. Bold Castle. Interesting. And it's Bay, New York. Interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to check that out and see the pictures. It's good to know what castle. I thought it was Hearst Castle for a second, but no. All right. So now this one, I'm going to work on, I'll work on the Bold Castle apparently. Here's the pictures of it. I know it's a, it's an American castle. So let's work on this picture. All right. So I'm going to darken these edges here and I'm going to start shading it. I don't know what year this was. John, you want to uh, do that here since you're Mr. Helper. And then these, I'm going to darken these in, these little edges here. These are the, these are like but, buttresses. These are support buttresses that help support the, the tower. And then there's a little window up here. I see that. Little window up here. I'm having some fun here. Taking my time. Uh, squeeze, Z, squeeze Z says you should change your name. It's funny. Oh, it's Alexandria Bay, New York. Okay, all right. Uh, Alexandria, Alexandria. Spell it right. Ex spell it. Let me see. Alexandria. Oops, I spelled it totally wrong. A L E X A N D E R I. Alexandria Bay, New York, and it was uh, began in 1900. Look at you, little researcher. Pretty cool. Thank you there, Mr. John. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, John. Mr. John, would you like to help me out? I need to I have Diane Kelly. She's going to help us monitor and respond on the Facebook uh, platform. Do you want to help us monitor the the um, uh, YouTube NASA show? Uh, send me an email and we can discuss it. That's um, we need uh, need someone just kind of monitor and ask uh, and answer questions or direct questions when they. Uh, it's pretty cool. What's happening is we're just, we're we're it's the show is expanding so much that it's too hard for us. Uh, to monitor those questions while we're live. So we need some help. And so we're getting volunteers. We're going to, we're, we're forming our volunteer brigade. Diane Kelly, you thank you so much for all of your volunteer help for the past 60 plus days. She's been our, basically our room mom helping us uh, keep the room organized and respond to people and, when they had questions about my draw3d.com, she'd post a link. Here it is, you guys. I hope you sign up for draw3d.com. There's your, there's your uh, code right here. Hey, Gabe. Um, that's right. I use a nine millimeter Pentel PS209. No, P P P209. I think it's PS. It's not. It's P209. Right there. See, it's. I'll show you upside down. You can take a screenshot. All right, now also, I hope, I hope, I hope you guys sign up for my summer art camps. It's my virtual summer art camp. I hope you sign up for it for a whole family. It's $99 for the whole family. What a value. Oh, my goodness. And I, you guys are going to go through the week and say that week changed my life and my child's life forever. That's my goal. I want to hear that. I hope that I hear that from you. All right. I'm just going to noodle and doodle. Noodle and doodle the. The. Uh, background here. Getting it. See how that pops it out. Isn't that cool? I'm going to put this detail in here. And I'm I'm getting tired. We have Draw 3D. We have our Zoom. We have our Pencil Power. I think that's going to be it. And then we'll put the castle names over here. I'll put the castle name right here. So I'll leave a space. 
Uh, actually, I'll, I'll leave it down. I'll put the castle name down here that you you guys uh, looked up for me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And then put the water down below here. I'm going to put another window. Cover that up so I don't smear it. And this, this is below your eye level, so you'll see the thickness. Now, I'm taking some creative license. It doesn't actually look exactly like this in the picture, but pretty close. Uh, try looking for Westminster Castle in Westminster, Colorado. Okay. Wonderful. Dawn did that hard work. She's good at that kind of thing. Well, thank you, Dawn, for the research. Appreciate it. So I'm going to work on... This is kind of cool. So I have this this text. Uh, I'm going to do my eraser first. So we know we got to get it nice and clear. Now, uh, this, this is always handy, having your stompy here. So I'm going to pull that... That text box right in to the castle, and then I darken back here. Look, it's just it's like a needlepoint, isn't it? You just take your time. It's very and again. I was I used to get so frustrated doing this tiny detail, but after seeing those videos, that don't no one has talked about that. Has anybody seen the YouTube videos of those fellows building the those uh, amazing under ground rooms uh pools um almost like meditation rooms like little uh like prayer chapels almost it's just incredible and they you know they carve out a, a little bed for them they can sleep it, i haven't heard any uh oh here gabe said something here that i, I can show uh, there are actually castles in Texas. Really, there's castles in Texas, Mario. Huh? There's castles in Texas. Oh. I didn't know that. All right, look at we're getting the detail in here, and I'll, I'll work on the water later when I put the name of the castle. I'm going to put some water ripples there, and then we're just going to slowly work in the. The detail. And well, I was gonna do the elephant tonight, but there's no way I am I am getting tired. So I'm gonna try to finish as much of this one as I can. If I can if I can get the background, most of the background done on this castle and shade it, I'll be thrilled. I'll be thrilled. So no one has seen those videos. I didn't see any comments at all from Instagram about it. I want to thank all you guys on Instagram for for coming on and saying hi and watching. Look at all these guys. Uh, say hi to Dan Misht. He loves you. Hi, Dan. Dan Misht on Instagram. Hi. Uh, crack, Kicker Arts. What did we see here? KMC Carts. KMC Carts. You and Bob Ross were my first heroes growing up. Well, you'll be happy to know Bob Ross was a really nice, chill guy, and we – we bumped into each other a lot during the public television area of our, both of our different episodes. And he was a cool guy. Uh, thank you guys for drawing Instagram. I'm looking. Uh, Mark Mario Tamara says, hi, Mario from Iowa. Uh, uh, and then KMC Cart said, my floating islands. My floating islands. That's cool. Thank you for those comments. She liked my floating islands, I think, on the Secret City mural. That's wonderful. Uh, getting lots of good comments. Uh, Andrew says, I think I might have, are these the guys who build them in the wilderness using primitive style tools? Yes. Yes, they use very primitive tools. Just a, a, They used two tools, a ceramic uh, vase that holds water and um, a stick with a blade on it, right? I'm talking to Andrew Morris on YouTube, and you're right. It's just amazing. If you haven't seen, we got it. You'll you'll be. I I end up watching. Like I was going to watch one, and I end up watching for like a half an hour different ones. There's so many of them. It's incredible. The fact that someone someone had the 
creative insight to go down there with a camera and time lapse them. To, and I just I don't know what the pro how long is it? it? It looks like it takes them a day, but I'm sure it takes weeks. It, it must take weeks because they just do this little one little chisel at a time. So I'm sure it's a I'm sure it's a long process. I'm going to smooth this out here. Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to make it dark all the way up. I'm going to make it dark, and then it kind of gets into the next drawing up here. I'm, I'm loving it. How's your eye, Mara? You tired? Well, show, well, show me. You can show me, dude. See? Mario's going to go on a trip to visit family in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana next week, and I, I'm going to miss him so much. I'm going to miss you, buddy. I, we've been together now for 76 days, 77 days. Just him and I, man, braving, braving the COVID quarantine. And, oh, my. Oh, Mara, that's beautiful. He showed me the industrial vacuum cleaner wet dry. Wow. That is a cool vacuum. I would show it if I had room on the camera. That is so cool, Momo. That's cool. You, you kind of want to go to bed, huh? You want to say good night to everybody and go crash? And I'll come in and... Bye. Well, yeah, you want to buy that with your money. Mara's got... He picked out a, a super and high industrial power vac so he can vacuum cars out and he can vacuum homes out. So there's he, look at he has he has he has a list of like fifty pieces of equipment that we put we're gonna Mara we got to do this we got to take pictures of all these things actually you've already sent me pictures I got to print them and put them up on the board so you can see you want to go back for the trip all right well let me uh let me should I, should I draw for a few more minutes and then we'll do it okay. Uh, you know what? Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's pack, Mario. If you want to pack a little bit, let's go down and pack. Um, I, guys, thank you for drawing. I'm going to go uh, uh, hang out with Mario, the fellow who kicked my Balula. He kicked my Balula in the game of Sorry. Oh, my gosh. He kicked. He just he did three games in a row. He just, he, it was brutal. It was a brutal game of, so of Sorry. It was, boy, it was a sorry game of Sorry. All right. But I'm saying, hey, I'm not. I'm not wiped. I'm not. Um, I'm only bruised. I'm not beaten. No, come back tomorrow. We'll try again. Thank you guys for drawing with us. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna we're gonna work. He has a whole table set for his packing. We have everything all sorted out. We'll go through and sort it again. We're gonna go to summer art camps uh, registration. I hope you guys sign up. It's gonna be awesome. I hope and I uh, would love your and appreciate it if you guys sign up for draw3d.com. If you want a free index of the table of contents, basically, for my new book coming out, the Surviving COVID Quarantine, you need to email me a letter. This is what the index looks like. It's eight and a half by 11. I shrunk it down. It's really a, a wonderful uh, guide to all 60 plus days. Send me an email. There's my contact information. My email is mark at markesso.com. In the subject line, uh, if you don't put this in the subject line, I, I will not see this email and it will disappear and you get mad at me. So you need to put, please, please, please send me the PDF. Okay. Please, please, please send me the PDF. That's very, put that into the subject line and then write some kind of wonderful note about how, how much you love drawing with me. You don't have to do that. But all right, I'm going to, Mario, let's go. Mario and I are going to pack. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you. Stay safe. Stay patient with each other and stay creative. Come to our hour of pencil power tomorrow. Apparently, I can post this. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna post this to Instagram. That's cool, Mario. <laughs> oh, am I still live on YouTube? I forgot to turn it off. All right. So I had to post on Instagram. It's cool. Oh my goodness, I'm still live on YouTube. Bye, YouTube.